Don't, don't tense up, man. Don't, don't tense yeah, up, man. Where are you going? <laughs> the tense moments caught on a Blue Ash police officer's body cam. It was a window into a well-being check there that might have just saved a life. You know, there's a lot to this story, in fact, including a message that we all could stand to hear. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. This man who tried to throw himself through that hotel room window into the vi in the video you're seeing there went to jail. And according to a Hamilton County court affidavit, he victimized a woman in that room, hitting her, choking her, sexually assaulting her. Anchor Kristen Hartman is here to tell us how the woman signaled for help and who got the message, Kristen. Yeah, Tanya, police say while she was out of the room with the suspect, a hotel employee saw them and, among other things, asked if she was okay. The woman could use only her eyes to signal, but the employee got it and placed a call. I, she looked at me, and I'm short enough that I could, so he couldn't see me, and I said, do you need help? I, I just mouthed it to her, and she nodded and blinked her eyes. That was the call to police that set in motion a well-being check at the Quality Hotel in Blue Ash. When officers went to the sixth floor door, they say 20-year-old Andre Damon George answered. That's when they asked him about the woman. Something happened between you and her last night? Um, I mean, not kind of, but not really. Flash forward not even half a minute. Don't tense yeah. up, ma'am. Where are you going? Uh, Settle that, mother. I'm... I'm Look, I'm about to jump. I'm about to jump. Don't taste me. That drama was the end of alleged horror that played out in that very room. According to a court affidavit, George hit, choked, and sexually assaulted the woman who signaled her distress to a hotel employee while she was in the lobby with George. There was some, um, you know, really weird eye contact and staring, some blinking. At a news conference with the chief, which we don't completely have because our technology went down, we were able to salvage this. She's a very um, astute clerk, very aware of her surroundings, and she picked up on it and called us. Is that clerk a hero? She's instrumental in this case coming to a close. Lesson learned. If you see something, say something, and you know, just err on the side of caution and give the police a call because it's our job to, to check those things out. He also told me they're proud of how their officers responded. George, the suspect, was charged with assault, kidnapping, and rape. I'm told the victim is doing as well as can be expected. She and George apparently knew one another, so this was not a random incident, Craig.